Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Rika Adorn. So as you can tell from the title, this is a basically advice and how I got accepted into a medical program of your choice. And in this case, I'm here to talk about my x-ray program, but this still is basically the same facts that you need to know for any medical program you want to apply to. So I first want to start off by saying that by the title, I'm not saying that this is for dummies. I'm saying that as in, I'm definitely not the smartest kid in the whole entire class. I've never been that way. So this is for someone who kind of struggles sometimes in schoolwork. So this is definitely for you if you're trying to get into that program and you just need some advice. So my first advice I want to talk about is my grades. So first off, when I went to high school or when I was in high school, I had a very low 2.0 GPA. And I just wanted you guys to get an idea. Like I used to skip school. I wasn't always in class. I was definitely goofing off or sleeping in class. I just definitely wasn't the brightest kid in the classroom. But once I finished high school and um, I went into college, I definitely have told myself I can't do what I did in high school and I definitely improved a lot. So I went to a community college and this could be also a big part of how I got so successful with my grades but um, I went to community college and as you know community college the classrooms are much more smaller and people tend to say it's easier um, in a sense but I don't really know because I haven't been to a university or anything but I always use this website ratemyprofessor.com. I'll leave that website down below but if you haven't heard about it then you need to check it out because it's a great way for you to basically pick and choose your teachers and of course when you sign up for classes I feel like your professor definitely has a big impact on how you do in the classroom and I just want to specifically say anatomy and physiology is one of the hardest classes I've ever took in my whole entire life so just like I just wanted you guys to know that I got a C the first time I took anatomy and physiology both the first part and the second part I had gotten a C in it a very very low C and I could definitely think that it had a big impact on my teacher because I never knew about rating my professor at the time but after using the website they basically like rank different professors on like one through five of how good they are or how easy the class is and there's comments of people who can comment anonymously and they can um, say what they think about the teacher why they like them why they don't like them so that's what I basically used and that's how I found my teacher that I took for both the first part and the second part and I finished that class with A's now I want to tell you the best way you can get an A in a class is you have to make friends like it doesn't matter if you don't want friends you gotta make friends because literally I feel like it was a team effort like if you have I had two really good friends that were both in my bio 141 and 142 and we did all our work together I'm not saying for you to cheat it's not any sense of talking about cheating but I'm saying like you do your work together. If you have a question, you can ask them. Or if they have questions, they can ask you. You do your work together. I feel like you become more motivated to finish. When we study for our tests, we study together. Um, we partner up. Uh, that's what I mean as in teamwork. So I feel like that would definitely played a big role. And even if you finish the semester with a B plus, why don't you just even still try to ask your teacher like, hey, you know, I've been working really hard in this class. Do you think you can round my grade? So I feel like it doesn't hurt to ask the worst thing they can say is no so I think a big part is to do the best you can as in like make friends and also of course you need to put out dates that you can actually sit and study um, everyone's study method is different how I study I use Quizlet so usually during classrooms uh, class time my teacher had a study guide so with the study guide I basically write down everything that I needed to know that he mentioned and then I put that onto Quizlet and I just review them constantly on flashcards so that's how basically I got through anatomy. I did not ever use a textbook, um, but I feel like the study guide definitely made me understand everything I needed to know to pass the class. So that's what I want to talk about with grades. That's how I basically got my A's. For x-ray program specifically, you have to have, um, you have to take anatomy and physiology, pre-calc, physics, um, an SDV course, which is like an orientation to healthcare class that I took. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm probably missing one or two classes, but the point is all my classes, I didn't get an all straight A's. I did have a lot of A's, but I did not have any C's. So basically I had like a 3.7 3 GPA for just those five classes or 3.6 GPA for all those classes. And I feel like what also plays a big role on how to get accepted is shadowing. So when I had my C's, when I guys told you I had that C in anatomy and physiology, um, I applied to schools to go into the x-ray program and I got denied. So I'm speaking from experience. I know what it feels like to not be accepted to a program that you really want to go to and like having to wait that whole year and reapply the next year. So 
what I did during that time when I had the C's, like I said, I retook the classes that I had a C and I got a better grade in it. And after I did that, I took the time to shadow. Now I feel like shadowing definitely played a big role in getting accepted to my um, school of my choice because not only are you your eyes open to like how the x-ray field or nursing or whatever field you're doing how that field works but also you're going to be able to have um connections with people and get to know people that are in that um x-ray field so i basically had this guy that i shadowed he was definitely like a mentor of mine and he helped me a lot um and he explained to me everything on how x-ray works and i always had a notebook and i wrote down all little important notes about um how the x-ray process works so after i do that I basically finished with 76 hours of shadowing. So I had 76 hours of x-ray shadowing experience and also I had connections. So after that, basically, I just want to explain the application process. A lot of different um, universities, you know, have different application processes and they're always going to say, oh, so competitive. So not a lot of people get accepted for the X-ray program. Only 12 to 15 people get accepted a year. And there is about 50 applicants. And basically, I was one of the chosen out of the 50. And I wanted to say that I was very, very like. I had very low self-esteem when it came to being accepted because I didn't get accepted the first time. So I was very negative about it, and which is definitely not healthy and it wasn't a good thing, but I that's just how I took it at the time. But I'm so blessed and so happy and lucky to be accepted and I feel like my hard work finally really paid off. And um, what I was trying to say about the application process is that every place is different. Some people require you to take the T's test. I didn't take the T's test for this school. I always pay attention. You should read about the requirements. I personally like the schools that don't have the T's test just because I didn't want to take it. But this school didn't have the T's test, but it required to have three recommendations and um, yeah, three recommendation letters and you can just put everything in a folder and then you mail it out to them. And what I like about that was I was able to get a recommendation from my x-ray teacher, um, my x-ray um, x-ray tech mentor and then i had another guy who was an x-ray tech but he was the one that hired me in that department to be able to shadow so i had him write me a recommendation and finally i had a recommendation for my anatomy teacher i feel like those are the three best recommendations you can possibly have so if you're doing nursing get a recommendation from a nurse or two nurses at the most and then get one recommendation from one of your professors especially i think maybe anatomy because i feel like that's the most hardest class out of all the classes you have to take and i think it's the most challenging one that people face when they're trying to get accepted to a program so i feel like that definitely helped to have a recommendation from the person who's in the field that you want to do that you're applying to it's just like i feel like that's really impressive to someone who's trying to figure out if you're going to get accepted or not first so even though they didn't ask they, all they told me was to put my um fill out the uh, application paperwork and put in my recommendations in the folder and mail it out girl if you can mail extra stuff out or you can put in stuff just put it in there you never know so that's when i put on top of that i i printed out all my rec um app, uh, shadowing hours i put all my shadowing hours inside that folder and i put my um cna certificate so also i feel like if you have the time and if you really really want to be competitive um towards the other students is to go get a nurse aid certificate that is like a major thing especially if you're going to be a nurse you should definitely get a nurse aid certificate so basically a nurse aid if you don't know what they do those are the people who take care of like elderly people and um you just basically get that basic patient care that you need and the class is like um maybe about a month and a half long it's not hard at all and like i said i'm speaking from experience it's literally just learning how to bathe how to clean someone how to um position them it's just a lot of like basic things that's kind of common sense that you already would know and also i went ahead and got my cpr certificate because you need that to um do the nurse aid program so i also went ahead and put that inside the folder as well so all those things together really make your application super competitive even if your grades aren't high up there if you have that experience i feel like you definitely are put in a higher position than a lot of other people who don't have that experience and the last thing i just want to touch about is the interview um some places don't have interviews but this place did and i went ahead and studied about the school so i learned about when their program started what is their uh percentage of acceptance rates what is their job placement rate when they ask you like what you know about their their school i went ahead and told them that they had a 90 percent accept um 90 percent job placement rate and a 93 percent pass rate for the final exam like the exam to get your license as an x-ray tech they had um definitely up the 90s and their program started in 2000 
2003 like those are all important facts to show that you know about the school so definitely study like it's basically um basically like a job interview i feel like you should study all those things um before you come to that interview and be prepared and of course they're going to see that you had a c before so if you are retaking a class i went ahead and said that um what did i say i said that I feel like I know I know I had a C the first time and I retook it and I got an A and I feel like that shows that I know what it feels like to fail. I mean, I think it's okay to let them know that. Like I told them that I'm not a, like I have been experienced and I know what it feels like to fail and also at the same time pick myself up. I know the program is very competitive and um, having that experience from the extra year to really concentrate on my schoolwork and improve from what I had before I feel like I'm very prepared to be in that program because I know it's gonna be a lot of critical thinking and I have to be able to be on top of things so that's basically kind of summarizing what I said to be accepted but um yeah so I that's basically all the facts that I could say for you guys um, and advice once again just to get that shadowing experience in the nurse aid certificate um, and those recommendations from that, um, the x-ray tech or the nurse or whoever you're um, trying to get a recommendation from, those are the things that I could definitely say. But I am so excited. My program starts January, but I just wanted to really put that out there. This video is totally random compared to the other videos I have, but I feel like this was something I really wanted to share with you guys. And I know a lot of you who want to be in the medical field. So I really hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and leave questions down below if you have any. And I'll definitely be more than happy to answer them if I didn't answer them in this video. Once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in my next one.